overflows inner mirror and consciousness there is a way that one always has a spiritual discontent and if one is aware you find that there is deep within a spiritual discontent the reason is you are infinite nothing less will be helpful for you and nothing less will and can ever satisfy you but every boundary is going to be finite it is needed it is necessary in a way and useful but it is not true also it is not the truth such is the situation of each one of us this inner mirror this inner mind this inner understanding that i am infinite boundaries are necessary and there is discontent when one begins to feel this know this as consciousness just consciousness just look at the light you say room is filled with light have you ever understood how do you see the light you have never seen light itself you cannot see it you always see something lighted or lighted object light falls on the walls light falls on the books light falls on other persons and objects it is reflected on those objects reflected through those objects because you can see the objects you say light is there when you cannot see the object you say there is darkness you have never seen light pure in itself it is always seen reflected on some object so for light to be seen object is necessary that reflects it the moment the object cannot reflect it that phenomena we know as darkness consciousness is ever is even purer than light it is the purest possibility in existence if you become totally silent and all boundaries disappear and you will not be able to say who you are you simply are because there is no object you can feel yourself to be in contrast with no object you can feel yourself to be in contrast with you cannot say that you are an, you are a subject soul or even a consciousness because of this purity of consciousness you always know yourself through something else you cannot know yourself directly so when you create boundaries you feel that you know yourself with a name you feel you know yourself with your riches you feel you know yourself something around you becomes the boundary and pure consciousness is reflected back through that when buddha attained <coughs> when buddha attained enlightenment he said i am no more when you attain to that state you will also say i am no more because without a boundary how can you be when shankar attained he said i am 
whole. This is the two ways of saying something. Either the cup, you can say the cup is half full or half empty. Both mean the same thing. When Buddha said, I am no more, and when Shankar says, I am all, both mean the same. If you are all, you are no more. All or nothing, only two possibilities are there, but in both the possibilities, you are not. Shunya or nothingness and Purna. Purna means the total, all inclusive are same. If you are the Brahman, then you are not. If you are not totally a nothingness, then too you are not because of this. It is a necessary part of life to become identified and it is good because unless you become identified you cannot become unidentified first you have to be identified with then you have to attain to dissolve that identification unless you become identified you cannot become unidentified at least once one has to become identified. Buddha was identified with emptiness. That's why he said, I am not. Let me take an example. If you are born healthy and have never been sick, you will never be aware of your health. Will you be aware of your health? You cannot be because awareness of health needs a background of disease and illness. You will have to fall ill to know that you were healthy or what health is. The other pole will be needed. Eastern esoteric science says that this is why the world is, so that you can experience that you are divine. The world gives you a contrast. Darkness gives a contrast to the light. Only then you know this is light. Go into a school and you will see that the teacher is writing on a blackboard with white chalk or on a white board is writing with a black marker. He can write on white board as well but then it will be meaningless because it will be invisible. It cannot be seen only on a blackboard. You can write with a white color so that it is seen. So too, on a white board, you have to write with black so that it becomes necessary. The blackboard or the is necessary for, for the white writing to become visible and a white board writing with a black color is necessary to become visible. The world is just like a blackboard and you become visible because of it. This is an inherent polarity and it is good. That is why in the East we have never said that the world is bad. We take it just as a school, a training. It is good because only in contrast will you be able to know your purity. When you come into the world, you become identified with the world. With identification you enter and, with, and the world starts. So you have to fall ill and you have to know the inner health. You have to fall into sex and only then you know you are sexual or not. You are identified with sex or not. Just as you use in the classroom to teach something, you write on the blackboard with a white chalk. So this 
contrast is necessary for the training purpose so too there is sex and there is the opposite of it in order to explain something you have to use the blackboard of sex to write something with the white chalk on it or the state that is anti the opposite the opposite of that is non sexual so only then something can be possible this has been a basic question all over the world why this world is there why is it at all many answers have been given and those answers are just superficial super superfluous only this attitude seems to be very deep and meaningful that the world is just a playground and without it you cannot become aware of your inner consciousness if you do not use sex as a playground how would you know your inner consciousness you can deny it and there are people who have been denying it you will never know you what your inner consciousness is remember to have a peak a valley is needed to feel happiness unhappiness is needed because unhappiness becomes the background in the background of which you experience happiness to know the divine world is necessary to know the light darkness is necessary to know sex no sex is needed world is just a valley and with this contrast and with this the contrast has happened consciousness becomes identified because through identification the world and through the world you regain yourself when buddha attained he was asked what did he what did you achieve buddha said nothing on the contrary i have lost much i have not attained anything because now i know that whatsoever i have attained was always there it was my nature it was never taken away from me so i have not achieved anything i have achieved that which was already there which was already which has already been achieved i have lost my ignorance i indeed such is the state of those who have already attained to innerness identification is ignorance it is part of great play it is a cosmic play that you will have to lose yourself to find yourself this losing yourself is just a way certainly the only way to regain yourself if you have lost too much already you can regain if you have not lost then you have to lose more and this looks paradoxical but this is how the world is and this is how the entire progress is unless you are lost completely in the valley in the darkness in the world in sansar in sex nothing can be done lose so that you can gain yourself you have to lose yourself into something only then you can gain yourself totally enough for now